Alright, what we got here is uh, just some timing stuff. This is some basic stuff that all musicians have to know. Yeah. <clears throat> just the basic beats and what they are and how to do it. So the first one is quarter notes. Uh, one note per beat. So if you got a beat going on like 4-4, like four, four, mm -hmm. like we use a metronome here. We'll start it out like this with just a beat going on. There's the beat, so you feel the beat, you tap your foot, and just 4-4 four, four is one note per beat, so it's like this. These are called chord notes. So when you practice your scales, you practice some chord notes. To start. exercises push it down to about maybe 72 there's the beat right okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play we already did one over beat Let's, right uh -huh. so now what's above what's the next number above one two you're a math whiz huh <laughs> I can tell all right so two notes for beat so here's the beat so we're going to play two notes. Those are called eighth notes. Okay. Even like... all the time we do this. That's not a triple, that's two sixteenths yeah. and an eighth. That's, yeah. that's not even, see? The triplets is like this. You gotta like turn your volume so you can hear them at the middle of it. Guesswork after you do it for enough times. So a scale would be like this.
Charles, Rick Derringer, and Floyd Radford, those guys played triplets all the time. Uh, Alvin Lee was a great triplet player. Any of those really high-end kind of blues players can play triplets really well. Uh, Jimmy Page, God, he was fast at triplets. Okay, so triplets are three notes for beat, so play me a scale of triplets. Triple, uh, triple, triple. Seventy-two with, with with four notes for beat is called sixteenth notes. Mm -hmm. Two notes for beat is eighth notes, so double that is sixteenths, right? And in between is triplets. Okay, so we're gonna go down to sixty instead of seventy-two. Sixty on the metronome there. So it's like this. Two times, get this one. 